Peter, a tough game to begin with against the League 2 Colchester United side. What were your thoughts on today's game? Uh, I thought it was good. I thought that uh, you know, you're going to get tested against good quality that Colchester had in both halves. Uh, and that's what you want, you know, when you're playing your pre-season matches, you don't want games where you're just going to win 10-0, you want games where you're going to get tested and, you know, and, and people have to make important decisions and so on. So, uh, so I was very happy with it. I was disappointed with some, with the, some of the goals, uh, but you, you are going to make mistakes if it's the first 45 that you've played in the season. We've only had two training sessions before today. Um, so overall, honestly, I was uh, I was very happy and delighted with the commitment, uh, and it's a really really great friendly. And uh, you know, Ben Garner does it right with, with Colchester, and uh, you know they play the right football. You fielded two different 11s today. Were there any standout performers for you? Um, well, to be fair, I just think everybody everybody showed a great attitude. It wasn't easy for us because we didn't have a lot of possession because the other team were, were better. Uh, so so in that respect, sometimes it was a little bit like a hot potato when we did win the ball because you're, you're so desperate to do well. Um, but no, honestly, I, was, I, was, I, I thought it was such a good test for us. We got a lot out of the game. Uh, we move on to go, go and have another good one, hopefully. The past few weeks we've been in announcing retained players with 12 in total. Was that an easy decision for you? Uh, no, I'd like to keep them all with us, to be honest with you, because some of the boys that I couldn't guarantee uh, there's going to be minutes here uh, are good lads, really good lads, and they become friends, and so that's not easy. Uh, but in the end, I know that we need a good start. I need to be honest with the football club uh, to produce a squad that's going to be very, very competitive and very good. On the topic of players, this week we announced the signings of Tom, Callum, Alex, Adam and Darius. Uh, what can the fans expect from these players? Well, I'm hoping that all the players that you mentioned, of course, come here and start well. Uh, we've got a lot of exciting wide players here, you know, with, with, with Terrell staying, which was another massive plus for us. Uh, and Alex Clark, who I know is going to come here and score goals. Darius and, uh, and Louis, so that they're, they're very good quality wide players. If we can get them, get the right service to them, and get them playing well, then that's going to help us create more chances. We've had uh, two training sessions this week. Can you give us an insight as a manager as how it's been for you? Um, well, uh, most uh, most times uh, this day and age, players come back fitter than than. than than normal, you know. When I was a, a young player, players used to have completely two or three months off and come back unfit, and their preseason was all about getting fit. Nowadays, it's not the case. They come back, they've looked after themselves in the summer. We've given them a, a, a good program in the summer, and it looks as though they've stuck to it. So now, straight away, we can go into the ball work a little bit earlier, and that's what we've done. So they had a lot of the ball on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, and they're much more enjoyable sessions. So, uh, but now, of course, we need we need that. We need even more fitness work. But then we need the matches as well to to get the football bit right. You mentioned earlier we've got a quick turnaround now with Canvey away on Tuesday. What do you want to get out of that game? Um, well, again, I don't want any injuries. That's the most important thing. Keep uh, keep your bodies fit. Uh, get them right on the touch and the, and the confidence and the togetherness. That's what I'm looking for. The result is very unimportant. And, uh, you know, yes, Canvey is certainly going to ask a few questions of us on, on Tuesday. And if it means that we suffer in certain areas and but learn from it, then that's a good thing. Bit of a random question to finish on. Jam or no, cream? Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's different this time. Jam or cream first on the scone? Well, listen, I go, to, I go to Cornwall and Devon quite a lot. I love Cornwall. Uh, but I prefer cream than the jam. I'd agree with you on that one. Thank you for your time, Peter. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thank you. Cheers.